Hello, strangers. Strange Worlds Unlimited. I'm your host, Fred Strange, and this is the Atari Vault. So, we left off in a whole bunch of space. Left off in the essence here somewhere. Ah, da 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 da. Space War Spent Master. Okay, so now we are up to Star Raiders, Starship. Steeplechase. And if we get done with that, maybe we'll get the Stellar Track. No. So, we got a few here. Uh, Star Raiders sounds familiar. So, that's something that I might have had. If we, yep, that's something I had. Okay. So, do 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 do. Galactic map hyper warp. Computer on and off, shields on and off. Wow. Okay. So let's uh, let's give this a shot here. One player, ten targets. Attack computer always on, attack computer always. User control. Shields always on, user control. Okay, so we'll keep the shields on and all that sort of stuff. So, alright. TIE Fighters, I've got uh, Bird of Prey, and I've got, uh, I don't know what the Cylon ships are. <laughs> Somewhere is it? Ow! Bastard, yes. Yeah. Ouch! Ah, oh, I gotcha. Oh, I see you. Come on. Gotcha. Two more to go. Alright, somewhere. Ah, oh, there goes another. Ouch! An asteroid. Ouch! Ow! 
Asteroids. Hang asteroids. Hang asteroids. I got an asteroid field here. Ouch. Oh, I almost... Yeah, I got him. Okay, I think I won. Uh, anyway, so, yay. Ten targets. You can do twenty targets. Thirty, forty. Yeesh. So, oh, yeah. All right, so... Yay! Actually, won one. I remember playing that. You know, this is this is one I had, so I played it. And uh, so, yeah. Hopefully, the frame rate is so choppy and so choppy that I, you know. <laughs> the problem about the, the the problem about Atari, which makes doing these kind of videos uh, difficult, is that they really did a lot of flashy stuff. Um. So, be a little difficult to kind of, uh, uh, you know, to record it. Okay, Starfighter, Flying Saucer, Space Robot. Uh, I don't think I'm familiar with. Oh boy, this looks like. Uh, your mission is to destroy as many slow-moving enemy space objects as possible in two minutes and no, no, 16 seconds. The enemy space objects appear two at a time as you guide your ship into space. Okay. I think I had this one, so let's try it. This looks like it might be familiar in some way. Game Starship, Warp Drive, Lunar Lander, Starship Obstacles, yes or no. Double Objects, yes or no. So fast. Right one landing is forgiving. <laughs> okay. Well let's uh let's give it a shot and see what we got here. Oh got him. Alright. Very similar. Alright. Very similar to the Star Raiders one we just played. In fact, this looks like it might be just a tad bit simpler. Oh, I gotta avoid you. Ah. It's a toilet seat! Oh no, it's a... It's a Star Trek, uh... It's a Federation Starship. Whoop! Too far. No, gotta avoid you. Okay. Gotcha. There's nothing there to shoot, is there? Just gotta avoid. Just gotta avoid you guys all together. Keep you just far enough from my view to. Yeah, the thing of the Star Raiders one is that they shot back. Can we get to 20? There you go. Alright. Okay. Oh, 
bypass you. And there we go. 21. Ta-da! Alright, so there's that. <laughs> I think the uh, Star Raiders is a whole much... Ooh, a whole lot more, um... Interesting. For one thing, they shot back at you. Alright. So... We'll do Steeplechase next. Okay... <laughs> Horses, yes, okay. Object of the game of steeplechase is to be first player to advance your horse to the right side of the screen display. Each horse gallops at a given speed from left to right while the horse gallops or hurdles in different sizes appear. Uh, tests a jump and clear the hurdles. Okay, as you're jumping each hurdle, your horse actually has no motion from left to right. If you hit a hurdle, your horse loses some horizontal motion. Okay. High uh, jump can be set by just the high indicator bar, which is on figure one. Uh, using the controllers. Oh, it's a paddle game. Why is it a paddle game? Yeah, we didn't have this one. Um, press the control button, your horse changes from a sitting position to a standing position after a race begins. Press the red controller button to jump your horse. Turn the dial on the paddle controller to set one of four height settings on the height indicator bar. To clear the widest hurdles, you must use the highest height setting. Does that sound more complicated than it should be? Left and right. Let's try the... Let's try using the mouse with this one, I think. Hurdles, uniform, computer skill, core. Okay. Let's try it here. Whoop, whoop, ouch. Oh, rats. Here. I'm really losing this one here. I think I'm the guy up on top. Whoa, damn it. Nope. That was bad. Ah! Okay, almost. Gotcha. Got you. Come on. Oh. Nope. Oh, damn, come on, I cleared that. Ah. Ah, dang it. Come on, I'm clearing these. Damn it. Ugh. Almost. Oh, damn it. Ah. Come on. Oh, damn. Ah, okay. Well, I think I got farther than anybody else, but yeah, okay. Sheesh. Oh, and I think that'll do it for this round here. Uh, we'll be obviously doing more soon here, so if you want to see when those happen, Hit that subscribe button. If you like what you see here, hit the like button. Share this around. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Stay strange. Bye-bye.
Thanks for watching my video. If you like what you just watched, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below. For more of my videos, click the subscribe button on the screen or down in the description below. If you'd like to support me in what I do, I have books that you can read. The links are in the description below. If you want to support in other ways, you can go to my Patreon page and help me out there. You can also follow me on various social media pages. The links to all of those are also below. Thank you again. Stay strange.